George Brandis, thanks for your time tonight. It's uh, very, 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 very good to be with you, Brian, and good evening. And congratulations on the result on Saturday night. Thank you. A great result. George Brandis, you're likely to be the next Attorney General in the new government. Well, There's going to need to be electoral reform, isn't there? Well, I don't know. A bad government was tossed out, Brian. There's not a lot the matter with the electoral system. But there's still some confusion about what's going on in the Senate. Well, in an election, no one's going to get the result he wants, Brian. That's, uh, I mean, that's clear. No one does. I mean, you know, that's the joy of elections. Yeah, well, you were fairly restrained in expressing that joy at the last election. Well, in you? the last election, Brian, we got more votes. We were kept out of office by a slippery deal between a party who got fewer votes and some Greens and Independents. So the joy of politics is more available to you well, when you Well, obviously won. it is, Brian, yeah. but my point is there are going to be aberrations in a preferential voting system, which sure. is going to throw up the odd, quite peculiar result. Well, let's have a look at the Senate. There's the mm. Coalition Senators, Labor and Green Senators. That's right. And then there's these others. I mean, <laughs> we don't even know what they stand for. Well, let's go through them, Brian. Oh, well, We're going to talk to these people. OK. Beekeepers for Taller Buildings Party. Yes, I haven't spoken to Beekeepers for Taller Buildings as yet. Do you intend to? Yes, we're going to talk to all of the independents, obviously. Do you know what they want? Well, in the case of Beekeepers for Taller Buildings, Brian, I'm guessing... Taller buildings, maybe? Fewer, shorter buildings, Brian. I'm sure we can find common ground. How many votes do they actually get? Well, the count goes on, as you know, Brian, but somewhere between 147 and 149 votes. 148, maybe? Looks as if it'll fall in that area somewhere. Out of a possible how many votes? 789,000, Brian. OK, the worst umpiring decision I've ever seen, party? Yes, I'm not fully cognisant with all of the rich tapestry of their policy platform. An interest in sport, maybe? They get out a bit, yeah. I would think, Brian. We'll find common ground there, yeah. Palmer Party, of course. Well, I'm from Queensland. I know Clive. I mean, he's a good guy, Clive. I it's mean, a, a remarkable performance, isn't oh, it? Oh, I mean, absolutely 30 remarkable. Thirty percent in the electorate of Fairfax. Six percent right across the country. Was it a surprise? Huge surprise. Big surprise to Clive. Really? Why? He thought it'd be bigger. So you've got the Palmer Party, and who else are we talking to here? All the, the people on that list are coming okay. to the meeting. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Three Policies Party. No, no, Brian, that's us. We're at the top oh, because sorry, we're yes, sharing the meeting. The More Onions Party? Yes, I haven't spoken to the Onions people, but we've got taller buildings that the Onions could go into. Everyone on the floor, this is a stick-up party? Yeah, we might have a bit of a problem with them, I think. But they'll probably keep the money moving through the economy, That's good. They? That's a good thought, Brian. Yes, thought of as a stimulus package, mm. it might work. Yes, Good indeed. luck with all that and thanks for coming in. I haven't spoken to them either. Don't know what they want. No, I was thinking you, Oh, George, big button. Oh, Brandis. sorry. Say George, will you, every now and again? 